Yo, what is going on YouTube? Today coming with another battery for golf cart. This is by Lead Time. They sent their battery monitor as well and the charger which is a 58.4 volt charger, 18 amp. And it should be able to charge this battery between five and six hours. We also got some new straps here so that we can tie it up to the cart. I already got rid of the last battery that I had on here. We're gonna be testing this one out. It comes with a 200 amp BMS. It is Bluetooth powered, which is Bluetooth 5.0. It has low temp cutoff as well. This is quite important if you guys are using this in either very hot climates or very cold climates. In this case, we are in Florida, it gets very hot. So yes, it has a 200 amp BMS as well. And this one, should be able to give me between 25, 30 miles. That's usually what I get. It is a 48 volts and it has 100 amp hours. And the design is quite simplistic based on what I can see here from the picture. So let's go ahead and pop this open. And I have to take it out of the box so that way we can get a better look. But let's see how the initial impression is. We have the manuals, as you can tell. Then we have some bolts in here. This is for the terminals. And I like the little sticker they added on there. It makes it look quite cool, as you can tell. According to the site, this is 35% lighter and 25% smaller. And yet it still gives you that very impressive long lasting feature, which is awesome guys. And once again, we can see the specs one more time on here. It has a very soft finish and normally we see a metallic casing, but in this case we have a plastic casing. Also, they are advertising that Bluetooth 5.0, the 100 amp hours I mentioned before with a maximum voltage of 51.2. And there's an app available for Apple and also Android. And here we have the 100 amp battery monitor. I can see that. So it comes with the manuals. You get the battery monitor right here. By the way, this piece is called the shunt. It comes with uh, a little driver. This is a flat driver. And we get a what appears to be a terminal here, which is for the positive side. And then we have the main harness that goes from this device all the way up to where Ever you want to install this little display. Lastly, we got our charger. Let's go ahead and take a brief look inside and see if this thing is rugged or not. So these are the uh, manuals as typical. You have some mounting screws. We get some maybe terminal screws. We don't know yet. And this is the charger, similar to other chargers that I've seen before. It is fan cooled as well, and it feels nice and rugged. This is a metallic casing, super heavy duty. And that's it for the contents inside of the charger box. First things first, let's go ahead and set the battery on the cart. There we go, check that out. We were able to fit this inside of the battery little frame part of it. The others, they were on top of the rail on the sides. And this one actually fits very nice and snug on there, which is very, very cool. This might sound a little bit confusing. It was for me at the beginning, but then it's actually a lot simpler than what we think it is. So this is the shunt. And basically, if you're using this same battery and setup, all you have to do is connect the negative terminal like the way you see it here to the B negative on the shunt and then that goes directly into the negative here of the battery. Now this other negative terminal you see here that's for the uh, power converter that's something separate but for this particular setup I needed to get another piece of wire like this that I had laying around and this is how I was able to connect it. Now for the positives you're gonna have your standard positives, like the one going to the controller, which is the one connected at the very bottom. The second one is your charger wire. Then the third one here on the top, 
that's going to be for the converter and the last one you see here that's going to be for the shunt as well that gets connected here on this little green piece that you guys see and it came with a little flat screwdriver that's for that it goes towards the right side of it and then the P negative that's where you will connect the one going to the controller and then also I have here the charger connected to the P negative as the manuals uh, instruct you to do so once you do that guys now we got everything working on here the battery came completely depleted which uh, actually helped because uh, based on the manuals you had to deplete the battery in order to calibrate this correctly so the battery came completely depleted and now we are charging it as you can tell uh, it is currently at zero percent so we're going to give it a couple of hours uh, charge it and then see if this thing works if you guys want this to look a lot cleaner i'm referring to the display you can cut somewhere in your golf cart a piece uh, inside of the manuals it gives you the instructions on the measurements that you need in order to cut it successfully and then you can make it look a lot better guys a few moments later so it is about nighttime and now i zip tied all the wires this is not the best wiring management that you guys have ever seen but at least it's working we are currently at seven percent we're gonna have to wait until tomorrow the charger is currently right here i don't have it screwed in yet and uh, it is currently charging and working well you can see the led light indicator right there once it turns green it means that we are at 100 percent i think it looks pretty good uh, we do have some power so far if i hit the horn you can see that we do have the converter working you just had to wait and see until it completely charges so far it seems like it's going to be a decent battery no hiccups at all what I did for the display right here is that I set it up with velcro on top of the battery itself again this is not the way that you're supposed to do it it is always recommended to install it somewhere where you can see it all the time but I'm okay with having it here for now since this will most likely be a temporary installation yo guys here with the continuation of the lead time battery tomorrow is halloween and i want to take this opportunity to test the battery with the kids going trick-or-treating yes i'm going to get dressed as michael myers and this is chucky chucky is going to be on my lap this thing is a functional chucky which uh, speaks and we're going to be hooking up a dji microphone and using my sony bluetooth speaker to make him a little bit louder. So here we are in the afternoon of Halloween. We are almost all set and ready to go, guys. Now I gotta be quite honest with you because this is a kids event. I am not going to be talking a lot in terms of the golf cart and the battery, but I just want you to see how much we're gonna travel and all the things we're gonna do with the golf cart using that lead time battery. And then we're going to determine whether or not it is a decent battery, if it's junk, trust me guys you will be hearing it as well so far from my own testings in my personal time without recording as i told you i did 12 miles the other day and that was hardcore riding believe me with the kids and i stopped at about 61 62 percent of battery life right now it has a freshly charged battery and as you can tell right there we are in fact at 100 percent of charge
Well, it's been a while for Michael Myers. I'm exhausted. Well guys, we just literally finished right now from trick-or-treating. You can see I have my Chucky here, speaker. And I'm doing this like this, just so that you guys can see that this battery is just phenomenal, guys. I did over two hours of writing and we're still at 84%. I thought it was going to be depleted way more than it is but yes we are at 84 percent of course we're going to wrap it up soon but first i'm going to continue uh taking now my wife uh trick-or-treating it is uh 8 30 i think yes it is 8 30 and so yes we're going to go for another round but this time we're not going to be recording i'm going to wrap it up hopefully in a few more days to see how well this battery really does keep in mind that we've been having the lights turned on as well and which is not a huge difference than writing it during the daylight but yes it does absorb a little bit more power it was an excellent night yesterday we were able to test this card and i gotta say guys i have tested many brands out there and this one by lead time really impressed me in the fact that they went after their promise. This thing really lasted a long time. It still has a lot of charge for what I did yesterday. I mean, I had a radius, at least, at least five mile radius. I went outside of my community and we just went everywhere with the kids. And then after I finished that little clip last night that you guys saw right before this one, well, I went ahead and got my wife in the cart. I got my stepson in the cart. So there were more people in the cart. And I had about 84% before doing that. And after I did that and came back home and finally put the cart to rest, I still had and still have 78% of charge. You guys can see it right there. It is nice and clear, guys. So this battery definitely went after its promise. It is really, really nice. Also, guys, keep in mind that it does have an application available. I almost forgot to mention this part. And that's because, well, we have a Bluetooth 5.0 BMS. And the app is super, super detailed. It's very animated. And right here, you guys can see that, in fact, we do have the 78% that the display is giving us. Also, when you go here to balance, check out the nice animation. Very easy to understand. It says balance. Under good conditions, your battery is well balanced. Got it. You hit cells, and then it tells you your battery, um, your battery are functioning optimally. It's supposed to be your battery is functioning optimally. But um, there you can see it, guys. I do like the overall animation of it. It looks pretty cool. Well, guys, if you have any questions, make sure to leave your comments down below. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, comment, and share. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. I have more batteries coming for this particular golf cart and some other products like e-bikes and some clones as well. They are coming and they will be quite exciting in the sense of how much they have evolved over time. See you on the next one.